Hello students, in this tutorial we are going to discuss example 5 of principle of mathematical induction. This example is very important from exam point of view, okay? So pay attention in every step and let me know in comments if there is any doubt or question. Okay, so let's start. Today we are going to prove that 1 plus x whole raised to n is greater or equals to 1 plus nx for all the natural numbers n where x is greater than minus 1. Till now we were only dealing with the one variable that is n but now we have another variable here that is x. Okay, so let's see how we'll show the proof. As always, we start the proof by naming the given statement as p of m. So let the given statement be pn. So pn is this. In the step 1, we need to show that the given statement is true at least for the first natural number that is 1. So what we do? We replace all the n by 1. And here you have to replace the n and not x by 1. Okay. So let us replace n by 1. So here it is. And what you get is 1 plus x greater or equals to 1 plus x. But we have another condition here that is x is greater than minus 1. Means the value of x will start from 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on. You can put any number from 0 in place of x and check if left hand side is greater than right hand side. So let's put the value in x and check. Uh, let us check. So if you put 0 in place of x, 1 plus 0 and 1 plus 0, you'll get 1 on both the side that will 1 will be equal to 1. Suppose if you put 1 in place of x, that is 1 plus 1 will be 2, 1 plus 1 will be 2, so 2 will be equal to 2. So the condition holds good, isn't it? The condition holds good even for n is equals to 1 and even for x is greater than minus 1. Therefore, pn is true for n is equals to 1. The given statement is true at least for the first natural number and it also holds good x greater than minus 1. Let us look at the step 2. Here we assume that the statement is true for other natural numbers also and let that be k. So what we do here, here we replace all the n by k. So this is p of k now which is here x is greater than minus 1 and let us consider this inequality as 1 as you know that we are going to use this in the step 3 in step 3 we need to prove that p of n is true for n is equals to k plus 1 also therefore what we do we replace all the k here by k plus 1 this is what we ultimately need to prove now that this left hand side is greater or equals to right hand side as I told you in the previous inequality problem also that whenever you have inequality proof, you need to take pk and prove pk plus 1. So I take pk here, this is from 1. Here I need to make this pk exact picture of p of k plus 1, isn't it? But here I have 1 plus x whole raised to k which is greater than 1 plus k x, okay? But here what I need is k plus 1. How do I get k plus 1 here? So what I do? In order to get k plus 1 here, I, I multiply 1 plus x on both the sides. So after multiplication, what we get is 1 plus x whole raised to k plus 1. When we add the powers, we get k plus 1. And here we are multiplying the brackets that is 1 times 1 is 1 and 1 times x is x. 1 times kx is kx and kx into x is kx square. So 1 plus x whole raised to k plus 1 will remain as it is now because we need this in the left hand side. Let us simplify the right hand side. That is 1. Here x is common. So I take x common. What remains here is k plus 1 plus x square. In this step I just rearrange the terms so that it may look something like this. Okay. Here we get the exact picture of this p of k plus 1. But here k of x square is extra. Now we need to apply a logic here as we did in the example 2. Now one thing is clear that this whole term is greater than this term because you have an extra kx square here that's why I wrote this term here okay and now if this is greater than this then this is obviously greater than this for example if a is greater than b and b is greater than c then a is obviously greater than c isn't it that's what it is here if this is greater than this then this is obviously greater than this that's why I wrote this left hand side is greater or equals to right hand side but we have another condition here that, that is x is greater than minus 1. So we need to check that condition now. You can put any values of x here and still you'll, you'll find you can put any values of x here and still you'll find this left hand side is greater than right hand side. Hence it satisfies all the conditions. Hence p of k plus is true whenever p of k is true. By PMI, the statement is true for all the natural numbers. If, if you have any questions regarding the proof, please ask me in the comments below. Thank you.